So in this video, we're going to talk a little about truth tables. What I have here is two statements. P is I failed the test. Q is I will study two more hours each day. And this is how we start out with, with, with two statements. We have a table and we give P, the first, the first statement, 0, 0, 1, 1, and Q alternating numbers, 0, 1, 0, 1. That's always the pattern for two statements. So it's better to remember it rather than to understand it if you're just looking to pass the course. And what, how I went about it is that I just remembered this pattern. So P and Q, a little bit about P and Q. Uh, this P and Q is only true when both the statements, both Q, P and Q are true. So if you have both statements that are not true, then the truth for P and Q is not true. If only one of the statements are true, then P and Q is not true. So that's a zero and zero. And the same for, for, for if one, if, if P is true and Q is not true, that is also zero. But when P is true and Q is true, then uh, that's one and one, and that gives you one. So P and Q, symbolized by this caret sign, is only true if both the individual statements are true. Now P or Q, uh, this is the inclusive or. So when both when both uh, both the statements are true, then the statement is also true. But when both the statements are false, then the statement P or Q is also false. But if one statement, if P or Q are true and the other is false, then that is that is true. And we went through that in the last video. So if you don't know that, you should go back to the last video and take a look at it. So this is also the same thing because one of the statements are true. So we put one. Now this is inclusive or. So if both the statements are true, then the statement is also true. Now this is uh, the upside down carrot with the bar and that is the exclusive or. And the exclusive or is exactly the same as inclusive or, what we just did. Except that when both statements are true, that uh, that this exclusive or statement is not true. So this would be zero and everything else would stay the same because it's pretty much the same as inclusive or. The only difference is that when both statements are true, the exclusive or statement uh, or the exclusive or statement is false. Now this is a little tricky one and P implies Q. How you do this is if I fail the test, I will study two more hours each day. So P here, we have zero. So you, you didn't fail the test. You actually passed the test. So uh, you don't have to study two more hours each day. So pretty much in this case, you did not go through, you, didn't, you did not break the rule that you set for, for yourself. The rule that you set for yourself is, I failed the test. I will study two more hours each day. But the thing is that here, you didn't fail the test. You passed the test. So you... You, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't follow the rule that you will study two more hours each day. So this is true because you didn't break the rule for yourself. You didn't break your resolution. And what we have in the second column is you pass the test, but you will still study two more hours each day. Well, here, again, you didn't break your rule. You, you only break your rule if you fail the test and you didn't study. That happens here. So, so what we have here is you, you pass the test, but you still continue to study two more hours each day. So in this case, it's true because you didn't break your rule for yourself. But in, uh, in, the third, in the third row, what happens is that you failed the test, but then you didn't follow the rule. You didn't follow your resolution. You don't study two more hours each day. So you broke the rule, so you give him a zero. If you failed the test and you started to study two more hours each day, as in the fourth column, then you actually followed your rule and and that is given a one for 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 staying true. Now in this last column, the biconditional column, it's kind of kind of hard to really explain it well. So here's a trick to the biconditional column, which I learned through my professor, and it's really just the inverse of the exclusive or column. So what you can do is you can just find the exclusive or and just give it the inverse. So, so pretty much uh, the biconditional column is the negation 
of the exclusive or. So if this is 0, then this is 1. If this is 1, then this is 0. That's 1, that's 0. And this is 0, that's 1. So that's a really good way of doing the biconditional. All you have to do is you have to remember how to do the exclusive or and you, you know how to do the exclusive or if you know how to do the or and I know you know how to do the or because the or is really easy to do so if you know the or if you know this then you also know this if you know this then you also know the biconditional so it's as simple as that to to figure out your truth table with two statements there could be truth tables with more than two statements and with three statements get gets really messy but we'll We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out as we move on with, uh, with this, with fundamentals of logic. Other than that, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Like, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you guys again.